today's technical segment, Justin Gimmelstob looks at one of the most difficult shots in tennis, the running forehand. Executed effectively, it can keep a rally alive. But once perfected, it has the unique ability of turning a point from defense to attack. One of the most important shots in the ATP World Tour is the running forehand. With so many players in the modern game preferring to dictate with their forehand from their backhand corners, they leave a lot of real estate exposed in their forehand corners. Players have to be able to defend their forehand corners and turn defense into offense very quickly in order to be effective on the ATP World Tour. Most players are comfortable about a meter to the left of the middle of the court. But that leaves a lot of court exposed on that running forehand. Very important to take those explosive first steps to cover a lot of ground. Even with the ability there is in today's game, mastering the running forehand is no easy task. I think you have to have talent for that. It's like all other shots, you know, but you have to have good timing. You cannot just run and just smack it, you know. It's just timing. Everything is in timing, everything, and you have to know. The legs is the major, major factor in, in the running foreign or any foreign, I would say. So when, you're, when your legs are moving well and you're, you feel yourself confident, you can, you can speed up and you can run through them. It's the guys that can coordinate the movement of the big muscles with the snap at the end of the swing. Because when you're standing still, you get the torque of your hips, you get a lot of things stabilized and launched into the court. Whereas when you're running, it's a little bit more difficult to time all those things. And I think the people that have the best hands and the biggest racket head speed tend to hit that shot the best. And I think Pete is a prime example of it. Never was the skill more effectively used than by former world number one, Pete Sampras. Even with so many weapons at his disposal, the running forehand stood out. Sampras had the best running forehand. Um, and well, he was able to hit that, not only uh, hit it with pace, but his placement and angle, uh, his balance and his timing of, uh, of hitting off the, pr the appropriate leg. And, and you know, a lot of these guys, they finish here now with that. And he was one of the, the first to do that. And it was, almost, uh, it was almost like another serve for him. I think what makes it difficult uh, for players playing against Pete is that he not only hits a, a great running forehand, but the angle that he creates going cross court is just ridiculous. I mean, it's, a, it's always, you know, a line drive shot and it's always like very close to the service box on the corner. I mean, you know, he can be pulled out so far and, and he has absolutely 100% confidence to hit that shot. The running forehand remains a key part of the game. And when it comes off, a genuine match winner. In modern day tennis, you have to be able to defend your forehand corner. You have to be able to turn defense into offense to be an elite player on the ATP World Tour.